Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I am very excited to show all of you guys today the brand new hidden and secret lowrider vehicles. That's right, we are gonna be getting some gameplay today. I'm gonna be showing these cars off for you guys, taking them into Benny's also, and showing you guys the customization as well. These are supposed to be the next three lowrider vehicles that are gonna be coming in Grand Theft Auto Online. And big thanks to my friend, Foxy Snaps, who actually allowed me to join him in his Grand Theft Auto Online lobby, and I was able to drive some of the cars, check them out, and we ultimately did some of the Benny customization options as well. So the three cars you can see in front of you are obviously the Sabre Turbo, the Tornado, and the Minivan. So how this video is going to work is obviously we're going to go out, we're going to drive them a little bit, then I'm going to take you guys into Benny's. I don't think I'm going to talk over that portion because the customization will really speak for itself. It's beautiful and it would just make sense if I wasn't rambling over it. So I'll check out that. We'll come back outside. I'll give you guys my final opinion and we'll do the same for all three vehicles. It is going to be a great video. I'm very excited to have, I think, some of the best gameplay of these cars, of the customization out here on YouTube, so I'm very excited for that. Let's not waste any more time and let's jump straight into it. All right, so we are gonna be starting with the Declasse Sabre Turbo, and while these aren't any new vehicles into the game, they've been here ever since the start, I still can tell you how I think they are going to drive and how they're gonna compare as lowriders. Now, I personally think that this version, the Sabre Turbo Custom, is gonna be very similar to the Albany Buccaneer. It's gonna be the sportiest version of the lowriders that you could possibly get. When I was driving this, I definitely noticed that it was very fast, very speedy, um, You know, had great control as far as lowriders go and I was overall impressed with the liveries that you guys are going to see in a little bit but also just the good amounts of customization on there as well. The giant exhaust pipes that run along the side, the nice low level spoiler on the back really does look incredible and of the liveries you guys are going to see they do look pretty fantastic as well and they also had some great hydraulics options. I didn't know if I was doing them better if I was doing them worse but as you guys will see a little bit later in the video you know it it just is really cool. So this is the Declasse Sabre Turbo. This is going to be one of the low riders that we're going to get to see in Benny's. And another thing I was really impressed with with this vehicle was the level of detail of the livery and how it extended to the back of the trunk and how it extended underneath the car and how it was appearing on the engine block as well. So overall, extremely beautiful car. Now we're going to take this into Benny's original motor works and I'm going to show you guys some of the customization that can be applied as well, as well as the other liveries and all the other upgrades and customization options. So we'll be right back in a bit and uh, we'll discuss it. All right, so how about that? That was super cool. Honestly, one of the things that gets me most excited for this car is the liveries on the car. There was this incredible flame one that like took up not only the front, but also the side and on the rear. There was also a very beautiful purple and light blue livery to go on there also. So I was very impressed with the overall state of this car and of the Sabre Turbo. I can definitely tell you this is one I'm gonna be purchasing and it's only $15,000 to purchase purchase 
on Benny's original motorsport site. We covered that in my video earlier today. And even though it's got a pretty expensive upgrade fee, definitely can see this being worth it. I'm comparing it to the Albany Buccaneer in terms of performance, looks, and how it ultimately feels. And for the short amount of time of about five or seven minutes of me driving it, I ultimately really did love the feel of this car. So this is the Sabre Turbo Custom. It's gonna be coming to Benny's sometime soon. Let's move on to our next low rider. All right, up next, we've got the Declasse Tornado. And I will tell you guys, the Declasse Tornado, this car of the next bunch we're gonna get is gonna be the one that has ultimate customization options. And as you'll see in a little bit when I stop talking and we take it into Benny's, it is absolutely insane the things you can do. You can probably notice some of the customization features on it right now. Obviously, you've got those like crazy antennas on the back. You've got the spare rear wheel tire cover on there also that looks beautiful. If you haven't noticed the interior, it's obviously changed the uh, livery that extends not only on the exterior, but also the interior of the engine and underneath the hood. So there are just so many beautiful things with this update, including the side panel paneling, which can be changed also. You guys are going to be seeing it all in this video. Now, if you want to check out some of the customization options where you can see like the menu, Foxy's actually got a video, which I'll link down below. So you can check that out. Also, because I was the passenger, I wasn't able to see the menu options, but still, nonetheless, we got to check out a bunch of customization. I personally love the livery that's on here right now, this bright purple one with like the silhouette of the woman laying down. So this one is awesome. This, of course, is the Declasse Toy. Tornado. We've had this car in the game for a long, long time now, uh, but I'm going to show you guys the, some of the customization right now. It looks incredible. It is amazing. And uh, I'll meet you guys on the other side. All right, so how about that for customization options? I told you that was gonna be crazy and the Declasse Tornado did not disappoint when it comes to the customization options. That was insane. And even driving it feels really nice too. You obviously get a great feel for the car and it's just absolutely beautiful. So I really, really, really love the look and obviously the feel we've been driving the Tornado for a while now. But the customization is just bar none insane. This is the one I'm looking forward to the most, I think, of this update just because of the incredible customization options. The things you can do like changing the soft top, changing like the silhouettes on the back, it's nuts. There is so much customization for this car and for low riders, you can't ask for anything more. So that's got me incredibly excited and incredibly hyped and hopefully that's the objective of this video for you guys right now is to get hyped also for what is looking to come in the future. So this is the Declasse Tornado. I'm blown away with what I've seen so far 
and hopefully you guys were impressed also. All right, and finally, last but not least, we've got what is, in my opinion is the most interesting lowrider of them all, the Vapid Minivan. So we've had the Vapid Minivan in the game, obviously, for a long time now, but I had no clue it was going to be made into a lowrider. One of the things we can confirm is that the doors are sliding on the rear, just like they are in for the uh, Moonbeam, like in Lowriders Part 1. So that's incredibly cool, and that's incredibly unique also. And there's just some interesting customization options for this vehicle, particularly on the inside. And as you'll see when we get to the customization portion of this video, it does end up sharing a lot of features with the Moonbeam. That would make the most sense. Both of them are vans. Both of them you'd think would kind of drive and both have the same interior customization options also. So keep in mind when you do get this car eventually, it does share a lot of those Moonbeam-like features. The liveries are incredible. Overall, this car is incredibly unique. But anyways, let's not waste any more time and I'll show you guys some of the customization right now. All right, I told you those liveries were going to get insane, and they absolutely are. I mean, some of the combinations you can create with this are really mind-blowing. I mean, whether you create a simple design or whether you create a very complex one with like the skull design and skull theme, I mean, it really just is insane to see what you could do with this minivan lowrider. And it's kind of cool because you can put a little spoiler on the top too and the roof rails. It's just nuts what you can do to this car. I am so hyped for this update. I'm so hyped for the, I guess the third rendition. I'm going to call it Lowriders 3, even though it's not going to be an official new update to the game. Rockstar is just going to release these files to tunables. But really, that's it. We looked over the Saber Turbo. We looked over the new Class A Tornado, as well as the Vapid Minivan. Those are going to be the three new vehicles. And a lot of people I saw were kind of skeptical in my other video. This has to confirm it 100%. The fact that these files are in the game, they can be uploaded, they can be downloaded, and they can be even upgraded in bennies with all sorts of customization that you guys got to see in this video. So I'm very excited to show that off for you guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite. Is the Vapid Minivan your favorite? Is the Class A Tornado your favorite? Or is the Saber Turbo? Turbo, your favorite out of the three cars that we looked at today. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you did go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. Without the way guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.